The Colorado Supreme Court heard arguments this week in a case looking to overturn the high capacity magazine ban passed in 2013. Lucille, this was an uh, incredibly controversial uh, part of the uh, different uh, gun law packages that went through in 2013. But now it's facing the US, the Colorado Supreme Court. It's a good catch there. Um, what do you expect to see as a decision once one is made after all these arguments? You know, I can't quite forecast what we're going to land on, but what I do think now is that even from 2013 to today, we've seen the impacts of what um, these laws have in, in real life. Um, when we're not being forward thinking about the ways that we want our societies to be, whether or not we want children to be safe when they go out into the world and, and the rest of us as well. So uh, it, to me, it seems regressive to try and repeal something that was done in earnest to, to really protect people. Um, so regardless of, of where it actually ends up, I can't predict that. Um, I think that it's really telling that some people are wanting to uh, put guns over the lives of, of their community. Uh, Patty, clearly this issue isn't going away, and this is from six years ago, uh, and may not even stop the Colorado Supreme Court, depending on how that runs. What do you think, knowing this, the Colorado Supreme Court and, and their past decisions, where this might go? I can't really predict them either, but I'm going to. I think it'll be upheld, and I think that it'll wind up being appealed. It's so interesting to remember, it was five years ago, so it was after the Aurora Theater shootings, that this is, we haven't seen much other legislation since, but we've seen the red flag bill go through, and that'll take effect January 1st, and we're going to hear a lot of shouting about that from maybe David Kopel, others, <laughs> others at this table, and around the state. But the fact that we haven't gotten further in common sense regulation of guns, not just in this state, but back in August, we may recall, when Donald Trump was determined to do something about guns after we had two major shootings in a row and nothing has happened, it's definitely time to have a common sense discussion around this country, not just um, shouting at each other, but actually conversing. Uh, Chris, I won't ask you. I won't ask you to also prognosticate if you if you know what the Colorado Supreme Court will do. But I do know at least, and what a heck of a week for David to be out. I'm sure he, he he's somewhere across the country where he's traveling, saying, "I want to be out to talk about this." That other lawsuits that have tackled gun bills uh, like this have gone the way of actually overturning laws like this. So it's not unheard of, at least in legal atmospheres. Uh, is this going to re, uh, renew that fight that we saw so vociferously in 2013? You know, call me cynical, but I think you could predict how this will go by who appointed these judges. Look at that list and you can see that which way it'll go. I'm, my guess is that it'll go against against the guns. Um, and, and here's the deal, there is no evidence that these kinds of laws actually reduce gun violence. And that's simply because guns don't kill people, people kill people. I know it's an, it's an old statement that gets thrown around, but we could have a pile of, of magazines on this table and nothing would happen. And yet an evil person with a, with a shotgun, a, a pump action shotgun, the kind of thing you have out in the countryside, could kill a lot of people. We, I'm not saying that we don't regulate guns. We have a lot of regulations with guns. But uh, in the end, it really is about conscience, character, not about the mechanics of these machines. Joe, um, with your role as a state lawmaker, you know this intimately. Uh, what do you think about the, the case going to the Supreme Court, the, the Colorado Supreme Court, and what might be the reaction from the current legislature? Yeah, so that was my first year as a legislator, uh, 2013 when we dealt with all the gun safety legislation. Um, prior to our election in, in, uh, in 2012, we had the Aurora shooting, and the, one of the days that we were in baby legislator training, we were sitting on the House floor, and we were receiving our training from, uh, from a Republican lawmaker on how to make motions and what have you. Sandy Hook started to happen, mm -hmm. and we literally stopped our training to watch it unfold. Um, so this was a big issue for us as we uh, contemplated the legislation and we fought very hard for it um, and we made sure that it was rationally related to, uh, uh, to situations happening that we have to correct, that we have to address and also that the legislation was reasonable. So I think that the Supreme Court is going to uphold uh, our, um, our passage of the legislation and Governor Hickenlooper's signature on that legislation.